Welcome to Kruchen. My name is, of course, Queen Medev, and I'm the Queen here. I'm Alil, and I'm the King. You're just in time for the feast. Mm, I can smell the pig roasting on the spit. There have been many famous heroes, kings and warriors who have been guests in this royal site. But none more famous than the three heroes sent by King Concover Macnessa of Ulster to find out, once and for all, who was the ultimate champion. The champion who would be given the first and best cuts of the pig, specially roasted for the feast. Brickrew should have sorted all that out at the Feast of Dun Rudriga. It was his job. Brickrew? Concover's Brugge? He just loves making trouble. That's why he's known as Brickrew Poison Tongue. I wouldn't let him anywhere near one of my feasts. My feasts always run smoothly. What about the cats? They were not welcome guests. The cats? It was you who wanted to build the new feasting hall too close to that cave. There is a cave near here. It's called Uath Nagat. Oh, it's not a big cave. The entrance is quite small, but everybody knows that this cave is a door to the other world that lies so close to our own. Time flows differently there. When it's winter here, summer still blossoms over there, and the creatures of that other world, however familiar, become monstrous and fearsome when they venture into our world. All was fine until we built our new feasting hall just a little too close to that cave. Now, every night, the cats attack with fearsome claws and terrible eyes. We're not anywhere near that cave today. When King Concover sent those annoying heroes, you could hardly see their chariots for the dust thrown up by the whirling wheels. You would have thought that they were followed by flocks of blackbirds, so thick were the clods of earth thrown into the air. It was terrifying. Then we saw who was in the chariots. It was Concover's three elite, seriously super warriors, Loigera the Triumphant. Cull the Victorious, and the unpredictable boy warrior, the young Cuchulain himself. And why had King Concover sent them to Croken? King Concover Macnessa. Ha! Just because he couldn't decide which of his three strongest warriors was the champion, he had to pass the problem to me, the Queen of Connacht. I was supposed to choose his champion warrior for him. We welcomed them as guests. We could not turn them away without losing status, and they were very well armed. We had to solve the problem somehow. It was coming to a battle of fists and a war of words, and it might have been worse if not for my brilliant idea. My idea? I think you'll find it was my idea. The cats! We sent Cuncover's quarrelsome heroes to guard the feasting hall all night on their own. That way, we might get rid of the cats, or the warriors. Or both, if we were extra lucky. These warriors put up a good fight. But pretty soon, they realized they were in over their heads. So, who won? So, nobody won. Not a single cat was scared away. They just vanished into the morning light as they did every day, only to return again at night. So, we were still stuck with them. I did get rid of the troublesome heroes, though. I called for each of them, one at a time. You didn't destroy a single cat, I said. But it was a good fight. I gave Loigra a bronze cup chased with silver birds. I gave Connell a white gold cup embellished with silver. Then I gave Cuchulain a golden cup decorated with dragon stones. I did feel quite sorry for them. They each really thought they had won the champion's prize. King Concover was not exactly thrilled. So, without wasting any time, he had them sent to meet the giant 
Kuroi in Kerry. Maybe he could settle this once and for all.